I'm Charlie Chapman, a developer advocate here at RevenueCab. And today we released a big update to our targeting feature. This is our feature for targeting specific paywalls to specific users using a set of rules that you can configure yourself. And today's update includes two big new rules uh, for targeting those users. This is uh, custom attributes and in product placements. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of like dive into the code and show you how you can add these into your app. And so I broke it up into two separate videos. This one's going to be about custom attributes. And there will be another video linked below to show you how to add in product placements. So let's jump into the code. So I have this uh, demo app that I built. It's pretty straightforward. It's kind of a, a fake movie streaming app uh, for movies specifically about your favorite pets. So as you can see, whenever we launch the app, the first thing that users are gonna see is an onboarding flow. And so if I hit next, it's gonna ask a couple questions like what's your favorite animal? We're gonna pick cat here. And then how many movies do you watch? This is not really relevant to this, but uh, the next thing that happens is it pops up uh, the paywall so you can you know subscribe to the service but i want this paywall to be specific based on the selections that users made during onboarding specifically for this example um, if a user picked cat i want it to be like a cat themed paywall and if they pick dog i want it to be a dog themed paywall so this is like the perfect example for custom attributes and i want to show you really quick how you can add those so if we jump into the code um Whenever the user clicks the, this uh, next button, it's going to call this next button tapped function. Right now, all it does is it calls display paywall, which does kind of the standard way of showing Revenue Cat paywalls. We first fetch uh, the offerings from Revenue Cat and grab the current offering. Um, and then we use that offering to actually render the paywall. I'm not going to dive into how that code works, but there, we have other videos to show you that. So, um, Right now, when you click that next button, it immediately shows the paywall. But we want to, we need to tell Revenue Cat what our users' custom attributes are before we show that paywall. So the way we can do that is uh, is actually using an API that has already existed in our SDK um, for setting custom attributes for your users. So if we call purchases dot shared dot attribution and then set attributes. Um, here you can pass in a dictionary, and this dictionary um, is a string of strings. And we can make our key, um, in this case, we'll say favorite animal. And then we'll set the value for this specific user to the selection that they made. And uh, you can see, you know, this is a standard uh, Swift UI picker. So favorite animal is the variable that that's going to get set on. So I can just say favorite animal here. And so now I'm setting this user's attributes um, to have the favorite animal uh, set to a string version of their favorite animal. So it's either going to be cat or dog in this case. Now, if we just did this and then we showed the paywall, um, whenever, whenever we go to show the paywall, we're going to fetch the current offering. But uh, we haven't actually pushed up these custom attributes to the revenue cap backend yet. So it's not actually going to work. So we created a new API for this uh, new targeting feature for syncing those uh, attributes. And so that's also on shared. And there's now this sync attributes and offerings if needed. And that will give you a completion block whenever it's done. And once you've synced up those attributes, that means it's ready to go. Now you can fetch uh, the current offering and it'll run through our targeting rules to make sure that you get the correct offering. Um, so this callback gives you the offerings. We're not actually going to use that in this code. Um, and then also an error and I'm not going to do error handling because I'm a bad developer. Um, and then now we can call display paywall. So basically, I mean, this is really simple. You can see, but when we click next, First, we're gonna set that user's attributes to have their favorite animal. And then we're going to sync those attributes up. And then whenever that's done, we're gonna call it display paywall. If we run this, you will see that we can select cat, we can select whatever we want for this, and everything works exactly the same. And that's because we didn't set anything up on the back end to actually t 
target specific users based on these selections. So now we need to jump over to the Revenue Cat uh, dashboard. And so if we go to my PAW plus project here and we go over to targeting, um, this is where you'll set up your special rules. And actually, before we do that, let's talk about the offerings that I've set up. I did a little bit of a you know, pre-work for this so it goes a little faster, but I'll show you what I've done. So if we go to our offerings, you can see I have a default offering um, and then this dog offering and cat offering. I created, and we can ignore these for now, this is for a different demo. Um, I created these by literally just duplicating the default offering and then making some changes to their paywalls. So everything else about them is the same. So if we jump into the paywalls and look at this cat offering, You'll see the colors are orange, um, and then there's a big picture of a bunch of kittens, and you know one of our features is we love cats just like you. And then if we go over to the dog offering, you'll see the colors are a little different. It has the dogs as the image, um, and then you know the feature has some dogs. Obviously, you'll probably want these to be more different, but this is just to illustrate they are, in fact, different paywalls. So we want to show uh, users who selected cat as their favorite animal, this cat offering, and users who selected dog, this dog offering. So this is where we'll go into targeting, and then let's create a new rule. So we'll call this one dog fans. This is for fans of dogs. And for the um, condition, we will select custom attribute. And you can see we auto populate uh, these. If you've ever set any attributes, you'll see them auto populate in here. You can also, you know, type it in uh, manually if if you haven't ever, you know, synced any of these up to the server before. And we're going to say if their favorite animal is a uh, dog, then we want to show our dog offering. Cool. And then um, if we go back into targeting, let's add one more rule for cats. We'll call this cat fans. Custom attribute, favorite animal, and if they've selected cat, then we want to show them the cat offering. All right, so very simple set of rules here. Um, if they're dog fans, show them a dog offering. If they're cat fans, show them a cat offering. Pretty straightforward. Now, we made these changes on the back end. We don't need to change anything else on the front end anymore because remember, we are fetching the offerings from our back end and grabbing current. And current is going to run through those rules to decide which offering to actually give the user. So that means if we uh, if we run our code here, and actually I can just you know restart the app. I don't actually need to rebuild anything and go through onboarding and select cat. We now see our cat offering here. And if I dismiss that, switch it to dog, hit next. We now see our dog one. So really unbelievably straightforward to do, um, but it's super duper flexible. I mean, these are just strings. You can create as many custom attributes as you want, and you can create a whole bunch of different rules um, based on those custom attributes. And so there's a whole lot that you can do here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Very excited to see what you all do here. Um, if you're interested in placements, that has to do with uh, showing specific paywalls based on where the user is inside of your app. Um, so right there, we are in onboarding, but if I go to settings and hit this one, maybe we want that to be different. That's where placements are gonna come in. And I'll have a separate video that shows you how to do that. Um, so check that one out in the description below if you're interested. Uh, for everything else Revenue Cat, go to revenuecat.com.